Hey, so today we are going to talk about surviving your family during this lockdown. So a lot of people right now are um, have been asked by their governors to stay at home and not go out. And unless you're a non-essential or unless you're an essential employee, meaning you work in a hospital or you work in a grocery store or you're a caregiver, then they've asked people to um, work from home, schools are canceled, so kids are at home. So at first glance, you might think, woohoo, vacation. But um, once you actually get in the thick of it, meaning in your house with every other person in your house, you are probably hit the point by now of, oh my gosh, <laughs> how long is this going to last? <laughs> So today we're going to talk about some tips you can do to survive the fam, surviving your family during the lockdown. Uh, the first thing we're going to talk about is creating separate areas. And every single person in the household will get should get a designated area. This is um, perfect for those of us who live in giant houses that are too big for our families because now we've got like all this extra room. It's awesome. Everyone's got their own office, own bedroom, and things are hunky-dory on that end. For the rest of everyone who doesn't live in a giant house, perhaps you um, your kids share a bedroom and maybe you live in a two-bedroom house with two kids. So you got two kids in one bedroom and you and your partner in the other bedroom. How is that going to work? Uh, when you are only working with a kitchen, a living room, and maybe if you're lucky, a dining room. <laughs> so basically what I suggest is um, everyone pick uh, a corner and start getting creative with furniture and partitioning off a section. And this is going to be your little area for when you need quiet time, when you need to work, or when you get a little stressed out and just need to have your own little, okay, I'm in my spot now and no one can bother me. So like I said, just get uh, creative with partitions or furniture placement. You can use all sorts of things in the house. Maybe move a little bookshelf over to kind of partition off or um, get creative with some sheets and a bar. <laughs> I don't know. So uh, there's nothing like spending time, extra time at home to boost your creativity. Uh, of course, the other option is you could just plop on the couch and drown out in television, but that's not going to do anyone any good. Come on. So after you've designated your own special area, and like I said, every single person in the house needs their own special area because your kids are not going to respect your special area if they don't get one too. So... You got that set aside. Next, uh, you're going to want to, in addition to your work schedule, if you are lucky enough to be working at home um, and making money, awesome. I do know some people who work in the tech industry and they're not even skipping a bit beat. They're just working out of their home offices now and their nanny is still coming over and watching the kids. That's awesome. Not everyone is in that boat. In fact, a lot of people work in the service industry and almost all of those people are at home right now, except for, like I said, the few that are in the grocery store section of the service industry. They're fine. They're still working. Well, they might not be fine. They might be thinking, ah, I still have to go to work and be around sick people. Ah. So if you are one of those people that are at home and not working, this is an awesome, awesome time to start exploring side hustles. What is a side hustle? <laughs> a side hustle is a, kind of like a part-time gig that you bust your butt uh, for fun, because it's got to be fun, and you make extra cash on it. So... Uh, this is a perfect time for if you've ever been wanting to get yourself online, uh, this is the perfect time for that because now you have extra time. You're not at work. <laughs> and so, yeah, go for the side hustle. I checked out a really awesome book at the library last week. Can't go this week now. 
um, on, I think it's called Side Hustle. But there's a ton of good resources online. And on YouTube, there are a ton of awesome videos for every single side hustle you can imagine from uh, buying stuff off eBay, fixing it up, or buying stuff at the uh, you know local thrift store, fixing it up, and selling it on eBay, to opening up your own Amazon store, which is all the hotness right now, to whatever it is. If you've been like, I really want to be a real estate agent, start doing your research online, and then when all this ends, you can go take your course and get your license and all that fun stuff. So Side Hustle Central, come on guys, this is like awesome. And this is also, with the Side Hustle Extra Time, this is the perfect opportunity for you to boost yourself above that paycheck to paycheck living that so many of us <laughs> have been suffering through for years upon years. Uh, there's, it's just like the thing in America. It's all about living paycheck to paycheck. Even if you make 160 grand a year, you're still living paycheck to paycheck most likely. <laughs> so what an awesome opportunity to boost yourself out of that. Okay, so you got your side hustle done or you're working from home done. Your kids are probably like, Mom, Dad, what are we going to do? Because we are by ourselves. If they have siblings... That makes it a little bit easier because they can play with each other. And I know that a lot of parents have been planning play dates, but there's also been a lot of info on the um, various state health and service sites saying don't <laughs> because kids can trans, uh, they can carry the virus without even really realizing it. Kids aren't really going to get that many symptoms from what we know about this virus. So that's why they're kind of saying a little iffy on the play dates, but you're the parent, use your own discretion. So um, your kids are probably getting a little bored maybe by now. And they're probably like, mom, dad, entertain us. Come on, entertain us. So if you're like that family I mentioned earlier that has a nanny <laughs> come in, you're good. You don't even have to worry because they're not even skipping a beat. But if you are the sole responsible caregiver now, then I suggest you jump online and start looking up resources on how to entertain kids. I would also suggest going to the library, but like I said, most of us can't go to the library right now. So go online. There are a ton of like resources for how to keep kids busy. There's a lot of fun stuff you can do outside. Um, go take a nature walk, uh, whether it's in your backyard or at the local park. One of the best things is all these states that are on lockdown now, they're opening up their parks, uh, or they're not closing them at all. So that's really awesome. I know states like New York are waiving all park fees during this time. So awesome. I cannot stress to you how important it is to get outside and get fresh air and get sunlight on your skin. Sunlight and fresh air are actual detox processes for the body. Our bodies need those to help flush out the crap and keep us healthy and vibrant. So get outside every single day and for as long as you can. This is honestly a perfect opportunity to not be stuck indoors all the time. For I, I know I used to work in the service industry and I hated being in these big giant box stores with no windows and uh you know being stuck inside because I'm an outdoors girl like I want to be in the fresh air so um if you have a backyard you're already like one step ahead if you're in an apartment it's a little harder but hopefully your apartment has maybe some green space maybe even a playground but like I said go to your uh local park or a conservation area, go find a hiking trail. Also great resources online to find local trails. Or if you're a member of nextdoor.com, that's a neighborhood uh, website where neighbors, it's basically a chat board for neighbors. But that's also a good resource to kind of say, hey guys, anyone know of any good trails around here that <laughs> me and the kids need to get out? <laughs> so fresh air and sunlight, totally, totally easily doable 
and huge keys to staying healthy. Okay, so aside from going outside and finding other fun things to do with your kids, I'm thinking like a lot of craft time because it gets them busy, it gets them thinking, you know, um, go, uh, well, if you can sneak over to the drugstore and grab some construction paper, or better yet, start getting creative with the stuff at home, go through your recycling bin and start doing some cool, um, well, grown-ups call them vision boards. And I've actually done this project with kids I nannied, and they loved it. You just get to cut out pictures from magazines and newspapers and paste them all onto a piece of paper. And it's just all going to be images that resonate with you. Uh, Images that, like, get your heart pumping or get your blood boiling. And you're like, yeah, I'm going to own a cruise ship one day, and it's going to be awesome. So you put pictures of cruise ships on it and like, I love the water. Yay. Or whatever it is for you. So that would be a really fun project. Okay. So you've got your alone time quarters set aside. You've gotten your outdoor play time in. You've gotten your indoor craft time in. And now (laughs) you're probably like, I have so much kid time. (laughs) What about, and I've got my me time, but what about time with my partner? If you are a couple that has always worked in date night, this might be a little tough for you because with restaurants closed and movie theater closed and bowling alleys closed or whatever your fun vice is, this is going to be a little tough. So here's my suggestion. I would still schedule a date night with your partner And while you're stuck in the same house with your children, I would give them a free reign to have like a fun slumber party evening. So section off one of the bedrooms and, you know, for fun, you might even want to do it at, you know, make the master bedroom, the slumber party area, because that's going to be way cool for the kids. And then that way you and your partner have your alone time in the common areas. So you can do a romantic dinner in the kitchen if you have a dining room sitting at the table, or if not, just kind of like a romantic uh, dinner and a movie, uh, do a nice little Netflix evening. But the rule is the kids cannot leave the bedroom. Unless there's an emergency, they can call for you. But Uh, you don't want them to step out because this is a romantic night. You're supposed to be alone. So make a deal like that. Maybe, um, one night or two nights during this, uh, a week during this time, however long it lasts. And, uh, that, I mean, I know if I was a kid, I would be like, okay, yeah, I will do that. Like you lock us in your master bedroom and we won't we won't bother you. You just pop on movies for us in the back. We're cool. Like, don't worry, mom and dad. So that is a really good option for still um, having date night and having special time with your partner. If you have one child, it might be a little more tough, but it's still doable. Just be like, here, we're going to set you up in the big master bed with the movies, and you get to watch anything you want, within reason, of course. <laughs> And if you need us, just holler. But otherwise, you know, I'd make a cute little cozy thing so they fall asleep real fast. You're good to go. And then, of course, you know, after date night, you can either, um, well, if it gets real fun and raucous, you know, you might end up staying in the living room. (laughs) Otherwise, you know, consider it a fun night to cozy up next to your kids in bed. Uh, It's, you know, closeness is very important in these times while we're socially distancing from each other. So you've got ah, all these great tips, hanging outside and playing. There's fun little nature stuff you can do uh, where you discover leaves and bugs and all that. You have your own little private space in your home that's just your area for when you're working or when you need quiet time. If you get super stressed out and like, I'm about to explode, I can't deal with my family right now, that's the best time to just step out of the house and go for a walk. And I don't even care if it's raining outside. You plop on a raincoat and go for a walk. But just getting some fresh air is going to do wonders for you mentally. 
Um, and if you don't have any kind of like meditation or calming practice uh, going on right now, now would be a really good time to start. There's a lot of really great apps out there that uh, I've used and I suggest. And um, let's see, one of the apps that I'm obsessed with right now is called Solvana. That's S-O-U-L-V-A-N-A. And uh, there's another one that I can't think of right now that is much shorter, uh, like little five minute and 10 minute uh, meditations. It's a really popular one. <laughs> I can't think of it. But um, yeah, so I would suggest doing something like that. Even if you just take five or 10 minutes a day, it is going to do wonders for you. Just clearing out all the junk up in here. Because I'm talk, I'm telling you, like, the stressful lives that we've given ourselves, there's a lot of stuff floating up here that we don't need. And our brains would be much happier if we found a way to set it aside. <laughs> so um, start practicing meditation. It is something you have to practice. It is not easy. And especially for people like me who are just have crazy ADD, like, it takes a lot of work to just sit and quiet the mind. I'm not lying. But you can't ever be good at it unless you start. So go for it, man. Um, and that's going to really help you stay uh, happy overall. Like, get that stress out. Like, this is not... I get that it is scary for a lot of people and it's very stressful with all these ordinance coming out and all these... Uh, reports coming out and I get that this is the most important time to stay stress-free because this disease being a um, a disease of the heart <laughs> essentially um, it's you have to stay calm and relaxed because if you don't you're just upping your chances of getting really nasty symptoms so say, stay chill, stay relaxed, stay happy, and make this a happy time with your family. How many people have been like complaining for years now? I don't get enough time with my family. I work so hard just to pay f to put food on the table, but I'd never get to enjoy the family time. Well, here's your time. <laughs> so go enjoy it. And for those who are living in states that aren't on official lockdown, and it's still a good time to practice these practices because A, you want to keep your family and you safe um, and you don't know. And I get some of these small towns uh, don't really have travelers coming in and out, so you're probably fine. But um, this is good stuff to practice even on weekends if it's like a nasty weekend and you can't get out with the kids. You know, this is good stuff to just like have on your back burner so you can be like, oh, I got that. We're good. All right. So uh, subscribe below uh, for all sorts of fun tips on health and mentality and life in general. I'm a brain and body coach, integrative nutrition specialist. And uh, yeah, so subscribe below. Thanks for tuning in. And I love you guys. Stay happy.